Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher, and welcome back to the walkthrough of Pokemon Blue version. As you're watching this video, please give it a like, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. On our last episode, we went through the Verdian Forest, defeated Brock, got our first badge, cruise our way through the next route, and here we are stuck in this cave called Mount Moon. Along the way, we also ended up catching a Spearow, so almost forgot, but Spearow, one of our members that I have chosen, and uh, that's that. So speaking of Spearow, we need to level it up, so we're going to try to do that. A lot of trainers here. At the same time, I want to be careful and make sure I do not lose, but if anything, I'll always have to just go back and heal. Better be safe than sorry. Alright, so here we go. I think this trainer has got a level 14 Clefairy. It's kind of like the Jigglypuff, but it's stronger. Basically, the only thing that Jigglypuff has over Clefairy is, I think, more HP. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try that. So let's see who... Oh, man. i try the Squirrel, then. Squirrel's level 14 as well. Okay, so Growl will not do anything. We're just going to continue with Bubble. We do have Tail Whip as well. But this could be a long one, though. Bubble's not doing much of its own. Ah. Maybe we should have used Tackle first. Now, yeah. Too many Growling. But if that's all you're going to do, though, then gladly just keep pounding away this health. When I said pounding right when I used pound. I should be careful of what I say. Oh man, I do not want Squirtle to lose so much HP already. Oh, okay, that's worst case scenario. Okay, well this is more about giving Spiro experience, so... I wonder now if Squirtle narrows it down... Should I try to get Spiral to finish the job, but I don't know. Okay, well, let's see. It could be interesting. So, pound here, bubble. Speed is also went down a little bit. Okay. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Okay, then. Well, I guess it's worth a try. Spiro should have more speed in this case. He does, alright. Eh, it worked out. Okay, hopefully... I sh it should not level up. Again, yeah. I was gonna say, I can't level up every two levels like that. And actually, I think I looked up, it learned La Lear at level 9, so... We are one away from there. But my squirrel went down. Uh... Dang. Gosh, I hate... I hate when this happens. Okay, I think I also saw this at Nidoran. We're just gonna go back and heal real quickly. If we encounter wild Pokemon, then... Okay, we're not. I'm gonna say Nidoran could just level up right there. But yeah, I'm not going anywhere without a healthy Squirtle. I think I'm only gonna have it fight against... There's like a Hiker, which basically... They have Rock types. I think also fighting later on, but right now they only have Brock types. So they could actually have been in uh, Brock's gym. Okay, um, we're not gonna go down that ladder yet. Oh wait, there's... I think the next trainer, I think it has electric types. Who do I want to use? Uh... Actually, I think we're just gonna use a little bit around. Towards me, and you already were facing me, so it'd be different if you were facing the other way. Which I think you were for like a split second. So one thing with this generation of games is that when a player or you know a person just shows up on the screen, there's times where they, for a split second, are facing the other direction. 
Okay, so anyways, yeah, these are electric, so Magnemite. They don't have any electric moves, though, so I really could have used Squirtle. Uh, so let's not anything about Pikachu is that its very first move is electric. So, you know, right off the bat, be able to... Okay, wait, no, I already know it's just 15 HP. So I'm taking some pretty heavy damage here. Not a very, uh, not a good sign, but... Uh, okay, Voltorb. Oh, what am I think I should have... So because of that, because he doesn't have any electric, now Voltorb for sure doesn't. Actually, I don't even think Voltorb learns a single electric move. It's kind of crazy. Literally, if Pi has Thunder Wave, I don't know, but... Definitely does not, doesn't learn Thunder Shock ever. Uh, so yeah, having said that, I'll just go to Squirtle here. Because Squirtle's gonna learn Water Gun soon. Oh, wonderful, that Screech, though. Let's try to narrow, uh, lower its speed, though. Okay, speed fell. Now I know it shouldn't, it doesn't have high, you know, it doesn't got really good defense. So maybe I'll just throw some tackles in it now. I think I've been using Bubble too much. Gotta remember the other moves as well. Okay, well, no level gained there, but slowly but surely, getting the job done. Alright, what is this? Potion. Stock up on those. Wait, I don't... Th <sighs> so rare candies, those are items that are like... You know, if you're one that's just like, I'm tired of fighting these wilds. Well, rare candy, you can use them instantly increases the level, which I feel like I might want to just do already. I feel like I'm saying Spiro, I need you to... Okay, so 24. I might just throw Rick Kenny right at you, but for now I'm not going to be that doing that. Alright. I don't know who this is. I know the next trainer after this one is the one with the grass types. Oh, it's a... Okay, it's another bug catcher. Perfect, then. That is money right there. Spiro will feast on them. This is just what I needed. Spiro should probably get to level 10 now. After... Yeah, it's definitely gonna get to level 10. This, this one, he'll level up. He should learn Leer, I believe. But yeah, those defense and uh... Actually, it's only a level 9, so it's not all that bad, but... Still though, yeah, you can tell the big difference. It's attack and speed. Then much higher. Which you know, serves a good combination. You got high speed and then good attack. Just, you know. Not, not all bad, but your defenses are pretty low though, so that's also not a good thing. Okay, no weedles, so this is perfect. Take care of this. Then you got the two. Oh man, you should have just used string shot. And then there's two trainers with the grass type, so I might get another level after that. Okay, everyone now once again double digits. So, but yeah, once again, that's the thing about this generation is like you think about oh special, it's okay. He doesn't learn special modes anyways. But you can also remember about the special defense, so having a low special, a low special stat. Um, you know, I gotta be aware about that. Alright, so 249. I don't want to check everyone else here. Okay. This wheel should have enough speed, though, so we... Um... I'm just curious, actually. Yeah, a little bit almost at, like, similar speeds, if they're at the same level. I'm gonna fight this trend. I still have to go down that ladder. I mean, of course I don't actually have to, but... I'm trying to go through everywhere as... 
basically do as much as I can. Okay, so Oddish. Grass type. Sorb. So basically, that's a move that just takes away the health, heals itself. Oh, dang, 1 HP. These enemies, as you guys are aware of, um, the bad guys in Pokemon are Team Rocket. Oh shoot, Sandshrew. Alright then, now what we'll to do is switch over to Squirtle. Uh, but the difference now is here, blue version, you don't see Jesse James or uh, Meowth, but you do in the yellow version though. You see them actually a bunch of times, so that's another difference. So yeah, the yellow version is basically more closely related to the TV series. Obviously, right, because it starts with Pikachu, ends up then getting all the starters. Here, though, it's all just, like, all over the place. Okay, so we're ta uh, I want to go to Spiro there now, so... And we can just go to Nidoran. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like... Because there's this one trainer in like an encounter. And... It's... It's a little frightening to be honest, so... <laughs> I feel like we should probably just... hurt yourself, which sucks, especially if someone has low defense, like Pikachu of course, and if it happens again, then it gets even more irritating. Okay, well, I wanted to help this out there, but I just, again, low IQ, like if you use Supersonic, if they're confused, you can't confuse them when they're already confused, otherwise that'd be too confusing.
earn HP up, so there are gonna be some items that boost stats. You know, like rare candies boost levels, HP up for instance, would boost the max HP. I'll decide later on who I want to give that to. A little too early. Kind of like giving it to whoever has got like the highest of the stat, or, or I kind of like look at my party and then pick one stat for each. Uh, now the thing is, I think there's only a total of five stats. So you know, there's the four main ones, but then the HP. So I could just pick or choose. All right, so I'm looking at it here. Yeah, I want to be using a bunch of potions. There's, I think. Two more trainers before we get to the one I'm talking about. One of them though is oh, Geodude. Um, one of them is the hiker who has just rock types, which include Geodudes, so he'll be of easy work. I can't remember who the other one was though. Yeah, if it was another bug catcher, that'd be great, but I doubt it's a bug catcher. It can't be that many bug catchers already. If you think about it, this whole cave is not even that big. It's just a lot of looping around, and then you got those ladders. So here's a second of that. Oh shoot! Actually, there's there's another trainer. Ah, jeez. Okay, well then. But that's one thing that's weird. It's like I wasn't even moving muscle in the moment I tried moving. A wild one pops out. All right. Let's kill this one's actually pretty short distance. Alright, I was hoping I'd see there's like one bug grass type called Paris. And that would have been nice for Spiro to face. But Okay, I think we'll start with the mid around here. Still levels up, so that's actually good. Oh, and poison sing that's brilliant. So now you can start poisoning people. Uh, Ekans. Oh boy, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just go with yeah, run again. Sure, it's just all about that move grab, but then if I use Pikachu, so I was trying to think about maybe use Thunder Wave. Because then there'd be times where I'll be fully paralyzed. But it also has poison sting. And I cannot afford to 
to get anyone poisoned right now. No sirree. You know what? You got one HP left, we'll give you a poison sting. Finish you off. Yes, I am good. Thank you for noticing. Alright, so either that's an item or basically, if, you know, when you're using a move, of course, you, there's only a limited amount of times you can use it. So say, like, if you run out, for instance, you see there's a tackle, there's 35 times you can use it. If you used it all 35 times, you can either, uh, it, I think it replaces, it gives you, like, 10 more uses. Okay, TM01, I think, is Mega Punch. Um... Yeah, so I'm actually looking over here, what I had planned. That TM01 Mega Punch is going to go to Pikachu. So Squirtle can learn it as well, but... Ah. Yeah, so that's what I meant about the physical attack. It's a pretty strong one. Um, you know, there's only a couple others that can learn it anyways, but they're going to get a strong move themselves. I think the only other really strong one that Pikachu can learn is Body Slam. But that's going to be reserved for someone else. So there we go. Pikachu can now use something besides Thundershock. Ah, okay, I think I need to... I want to bring Spearow back out. So I want Squirtle to have good health. Nidoran. Pikachu is pretty close, okay. I'm pretty much sure this is not a bug catcher. Yeah, youngster. Mm, of course, good old Rattatas. Well, I'll let Spiro try to take this one on its own. And then... No? That would be pretty... Oh, gosh, look at that. Maybe I'll let him try to take on the next one. I think it has another Rattata. Yes, it does. And that annoying quick attack, though. It's nothing you can do about that. Okay, this doesn't look good. Actually, I think it's gonna faint. Oh no, okay, well. At least you got another. Now, if he doesn't use quick attack. Okay, cool just in the nick. And in fact, I'm going to be a little spiral over here. I might actually give you another potion after this fight. <laughs> that was very weird though. It's like when you have the siren and out comes Zubat, but that did not sound anything like a Zubat. <sighs> but of course, using your confusion, Sometimes the odds don't match up. Because that's now like four times in a row. School, uh, Pikachu has hurt itself in confusion. Uh, losing does stink. But you'll get used to it. I'm sure you'll lose more times. Okay. So I'm going to give actually a potion to Spiro. And I'm going to give one to Pikachu as well. Shouldn't have to happen too often because. Um, no, this is still the early part, but once I get a couple Pokemon evolved, then things will be different for sure. Alright. Uh, I think Squirrel should have enough speed. I hope so that I can run away from these Zubats. I mean, it's 
only a level 9 Zubat, so... Yeah. Alright, let's get to that hiker right away. There he is. I mean, yeah, Ash is a kid, but I mean, not, not at all. Okay, so, so how we did against Brock, this one should just be a piece of cake. We have one hit KO there. Alright, now we should get Water Gun. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. So if we want to see Water Gun, could use Bubble again, but don't want to take any chances. Get these guys out of here. Should be another Onyx, yep, so. Maybe, no. I think Bubble might even be able to take him out one hit now, but Water Gun for sure will do. Do the part. Okay, so here we are, level 16. Squirtle is now. Ready to evolve. So Squirtle is now a war turtle, a turtle for war. I was actually not even expecting to have it evolved already at the time, but I'm totally fine with that. Because now I feel a lot better going into that uh, next fight. Yeah, it's going to be the very next one, so we should be good now. Okay, Moonstone. That's going to be an item that will come in handy later. Because there are certain Pokemon that evolve by use of stones. Moonstone being one of them. And there's like Fire, Leaf, Water. Uh, but that's actually going to be for Nidoran. So when Nidoran evolves, then in order to evolve it to its final form, that's what the Moonstone is for. So I'm going to make sure I do not toss that away. Okay, this is the part now I'm just like, stop it with the wild. Okay, it's Geodude, but I'm still going to ignore it. We got a War Turtle, and that's pretty... Legit. There's something up here, I feel. No. I always thought there would have been like some invisible item. Okay. I should probably forget about it. It's like, what does that, what does that mean? What kind of ears are those? Like it's from Greece or something. All right, so here comes a trainer. I'm gonna start off. I have a bad feeling though. It's like gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna still start with Pikachu though because I'm gonna take my chances. If Pikachu does not faint in one hit, I'm gonna throw it a Thunder Wave. Because this Pokemon, it's Raticate. Yeah, so it's an evolved form of Rattata. Good speed. Pretty good attack. Okay, that's what I need. Actually, it's level 16. For some reason, I thought it was level 14. It's level 16, so no doubt the toughest fight thus far. But that's already a good thing. We got it paralyzed. Uh, let's just see how much Mega Punch does. Yeah. Okay, this is not good. I think it's gonna faint right here. Yep. Hyper faint is one deadly attack. It's not a good one to be part of. Um. Jeez. Here, what I'm gonna do here is actually. So just paralyze. 
guys. I'm gonna take advantage and take give it one layer at least. Okay, one tackle there. Ah. Okay, I want to do. Oh man, that's. For some reason, it feels like this uh, enemy is smarter. It's like you use quick attack at the right time. But I did get one layer, so let's see now. Scratch is the best thing to use. And honestly, you see how much damage that's doing. If it just kept using Hyper Fang, this could still be a tough uh, finish here. I probably should have just went to War Tour right away. And I think he's gonna be gone. And yep. Well, here we go. It's all up to War Tour. Okay, so it definitely didn't use Quick Attack. Oh boy. Okay, well that did 20 damage. Okay, thank goodness. The only problem is I only got War Turtle. Um, man. I really do not want to go all the way back, though. Okay, here's what it... I got a potion. I'm going to use it. I'm just going to go for it. I have confidence that War Turtle is strong enough. We're not going to find anything like that, Radicate. Let's see. Okay, well, if it's a Geodude, then I will probably take advantage and just defeat it. Because I think... Man, that was a lot of experience, so... Probably already close to leveling up again. Okay, well, I thought so. Oh, so now the Paris shows up, so that's the one that's a bug grass type. Yeah, Spearow was looking for you. You shut up too late. I think there was an item we just got earlier too, the escape rope. That's basically. Actually, yeah, if I wanted to go back to the Pogo Center. I can just use the escape rope, it'll take me there instantly. Problem is, you still have to walk all the way back over to where I'm at right now. And yeah, I, I don't want to do that anyway. Okay, but we're almost there, so we got two more trainers. I think they both have, they each have three Pokemon, but... I've done this before. You know, I got the gut feeling that War Toro can take them on. Okay, this one actually only got two. Okay, Rattata. Hey, level 13. But I know it does not have Hyper Fang. Okay, so one water gun. Okay, quick attack. I may have to end up using another potion, but probably during the next fight. No, oh, wait, yeah, there's the next level. Oh, okay, it's just a Zubat. Gosh, I really wish it got Pikachu at least deliver one Thundershock, but... I mean, Zubat's stats aren't even that great anyways. I think the only thing that's really got good is speed. And you can even see. War Turtle, of all forms, are obviously going to have even better stats, so... I mean, the Squirtle was pretty slow. You know, the speed still does go up. Alright, so you're mad, Wolf. Not my fault. Not my fault that you suck. We got Zubat and Rattata. Yeah, I'm not gonna really do much there. Okay, I think we're good. I know there's another Moonstone here. You know, honestly, I don't even need to get this, but I guess in case I <laughs> throw one away. All right, so it's the last trainer. So there's two fossils in the way. We have to defeat him first. Super nerd. Okay, well, level 12. So we have for sure the level advantage. And Grimer is a poison type, but all he has is pound, I believe. Okay, so that's not gonna do much. Oh, but that's not nice. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We're just gonna keep using Water Gun. Not taking any chances. Clearly our strongest move at this point. 
Voltorb, okay, but once again, no electric moves. I just find it very odd. I think in the later games, they do give it a move called Spark. It's a great electric move. But in this generation, nothing. And... Yeah, I don't even know if it even learns Thunder Waves. Like, okay, we'll just give it a bubble. Put that Pokeball, or, you know, that ball inside of a bubble. Fit nicely. Okay, so this should... We should be fine here now. I know coughing is also poison type, and it learns the move self destruct, but I can't imagine learning it this early, so. Shouldn't be any issues. Ooh, oh boy. It does have that, though. Oh, that's fine. We had an antidote, but smog is. I feel like it has a higher chance of poisoning you than poison sing does, but. Okay, so we get to pick a Hustle, it doesn't really matter what I'm choosing. I'll just go with the Helix. I think that gives you the stronger of the two anyways. Uh, you know, at least in terms of moveset, I think stats too. I think the, if you choose a Dome Fossil, the one you get, it gets a like, good attack. Um, but nothing else, which people like good attack and good speed. The Helix Fossil gives someone with a pretty good special, yeah, special and defense, so that's basically like half and half in the case. But again, if you think about good special and good defense, that's, um, that's a pretty good combo. Um, okay, well. I think there's like any items, I know there should be one item in here. So that was, yeah, I don't even know, what is this? TM04. Ah, whirlwind. It's basically nothing but makes the battle end. Only works with wild Pokemon, though. Okay, so... We're out of the cave. Let's just recap now. 78. 212. Yeah, Spiral actually. Pretty good weather. We got it at level 5. Came out as a level 12. I believe Spiro evolves at level 20. So it needs a little bit more time. But here we are, the next part Cerulean City. Gym leader here is water type, so. Even though we do have Pikachu, we are totally not ready to fight. It's not as easy as facing Brock. Because the, you know, the opponent has high, a better moveset. And not even more Turtle could take it on, so... What we have to do now is move up north. Uh, again, there's really nothing you can do in this. Uh, there's actually one place, though, where you can go get a bike, a bicycle, which comes very handy. But we can't get that yet. Oh, I gotta remember. A uh, rival's gonna show up. Um, but yeah, we'll have an item where it can allow us to exchange it for a bicycle. So I think he starts off with Pidgeotto. So we're gonna start with Pikachu. And you know what I'd like to do is actually have each, since they have a party of four, he's gonna have four. We'll have each person take on one. Spear will take on Bulbasaur for sure. Yeah, we'll just go like that. Pikachu will start off. Pretty sure I should be able to win though. Stronger, so did I. Oh yeah, the level 18, you're not kidding. Alright then, let's see, we'll start with a... Yeah, I just... Pikachu's defense is so... 
terrible. And we got it under way. I have a feeling that it's going to use the quick attack again. Okay, no. He just needs to get more, you know, higher levels. So yeah, even though <laughs> Gus still just took it out. Alright then. Uh, I guess we're just going to go to War Total then. Did a little damage there, but... We did paralyze it, but... Yeah, Pikachu is the one. That's why I'm just so glad that we're going to be able to evolve it. But that's not going to be for a while. In fact, I'm probably not even going to evolve it, though, until it learns the move Thunder, the strongest electric move. So I want to make sure it has that. Okay, you know what, Pi should have just thought of this. Maybe Pikachu could just take on Abra. Because Abra is not going to do anything. Actually, I think I might just give the Spirit Spirit at least some experience already. Because uh, Abra not only knows the move Teleport, and in battle, it does nothing. You know, if you're facing in the wild, it basically uh, disappears, you know, teleports, then the battle ends. But here, it doesn't work. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> a pretty good amount of experience, too. Okay, Rattata, right, so we'll have Nidoran take it on. Oh boy, though, it, it's gonna have Hyper Fang, I believe. Let's see if you get poisoned then. My gosh, tackle does that much. <sighs> okay, I, I can't afford another poison steam then. No, well, there goes that, so he's probably That's that's one really strong move. Alright then. It's a great thing though we have War Toll here. Again, once again, the defense is why why I picked it in the first place. Um, okay, so now we got Bulbasaur. This time, Bulbasaur has fine with those, so I'll be screwed if Spiro cannot do the job here. But we'll see. Okay, he's got the higher speed. Oh wait, though it's got bat. Okay, well that should be fine then. I know special's not good, but still, it's a flying type. Okay, so Leech Seed. Once again, it's a move that's gonna suck health every turn, but that should not be an issue. Okay, so everything that's bad is just for Tata's Hyper Fang. Pikachu's poor defense. Yes, I did. Make that 3 0. Bill. Hmm. That's a little disturbing phrase. I'll smell y'all later. Like, you're gonna smell me whenever I'm approaching. Alright, well, let's see here. Pikachu fainted. No, never mind. Fainted as well. That's okay, though. Beef up or tor tor anyways. I think Sparrow only needs two more levels until another attack move. Which is actually gonna be coming in handy. Because it's not a flying type move. But uh you know it's a move that does like damage two to five times. Alright, but anyways, that was a big fight, now we're going to proceed, there's going to be a lot more trainers now. Actually, it's going to be really soon until we catch our next one. We're going to find our grass type in this area. But these next couple trainers though, we, have the, we can't avoid them, so we'll just go in there and take them on. Um, yeah, I was thinking, because I know there's, there's still going to be more bug catchers. We'll just start Spiro. Actually, I think it's just 
This one's the bug catcher. The others are not. He's got a caterpie, okay then. Well then, I might see you using it around for the next opponent. Ah, it's a Weedle. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. I get poisoned already. So I'm looking it up, so when a Nuran evolves to the next form, I can actually teach a Water Gun. Um, yeah, that did not do much there, so Poison seemed not a very strong attack, and it was in the first place. See, that's why Nuran only takes one damage, but... Yeah, it's fine, we'll just use Scratch. Scratch this bug out. Now, we need to go back to Poison Sing. See if we can finish it off. Oh man, a critical hit. 2 HP. Not that much of a difference. Okay, next is last. I think she starts off with Pikachu. I mean, Pidgey. I'll be starting with Pikachu. If that's the case. Well, only one way to find out. Alright, so it's a Pidgey. I think this Pidgey, at this point, also knows Quick Attack. Okay, Pikachu needs to level up though right now. It's under level, then you know it's gonna take massive damage. And even Thunder Shock, and you're kind of super effective, it's not gonna do that much. Okay, one level. Need more now. And the other stats are kinda long, just defense is what's bad. Okay, so we have a Nidoran. Anyways, yeah, I'll just go with Pikachu. Maybe I should have used Mega Punch. Oh god, that worked out nice. Oh, she's it has poison steam. No, oh, oh wait, yeah, I don't even know. All right, let's just see how much Mega Punch does now. Okay, well, it's probably not gonna. Do that much until we evolve Pikachu. Oh, brother. Okay, well, Aaron does not have Quick Attack, but. Okay, well. I think. Yeah, I'm not really gonna be interested in healing again. We'll probably just heal, like, go back and heal after we catch the next one. And go to the next fight like this, though. Uh, start with Nidoran. Okay, so we got a youngster. And now he's got water, uh, hyper fame. Man, it's got higher speed. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to summon War Turtle again. Tempted to use a red candy, but ah man, I would stick with him, but um, uh... all right, whatever. I 
I just set this up so then I'll bring Spiro in after. Make it easier for Spiro to defeat. Unless somehow miraculously you can defeat him. Nah. One more hit will finish the job. Oh boy. Oh man, so close. Well then, you know what? In that case... Eh... Yeah, let's just use Pikachu then. It's gonna be, always be really hard for Pikachu to get experience. So there was an easy one right there. Oh, look at that. And then Zubat. I guess I'll use Pikachu. Oh, brother. Fainted by Leech Life. Well, still got it set up for Spiro, so Spiro gets to have. Yeah, no Supersonic now. Uh, hmm. I think I will go back and heal, though, because... There's gonna be some trainer- there's gonna be more trainer for those rock types later on. You know, really close by. So, War Turtle's gonna be level too high. Spiro's not gonna really be able to take care of the rest on their own. Uh, but I will do that. Make it so that I remember. I'll just walk towards here. Actually. Alright. But we went through a lot, though. So, I think everyone's exhausted. I'm exhausted. So, we will cut it short right here. Having said that, I want to say thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you have any comments, just feel free to leave them down below. I will look at them momentarily. Having said all that, I will see you guys all next time.